Hello everybody, my name is Shane Howell and this is my new channel of pretty much movie reviews. Uh, there's a lot of movie reviewers out there on the internet and also on YouTube that have a lot of problems with actually getting r very good reviews. They end up um, they end up picking apart a movie so bad that even though it was a good movie, it turns out to be a big disaster and it ruins it for a lot of fans and a lot of people in general who hasn't even seen or heard anything about the movie. There is a guy on YouTube named Jeremy Jaws. This guy, in my opinion, is so funny because he tries to pick part of a movie. It's like, it's like every movie to him has to be a masterpiece. It has to be, uh, it has to be Star Wars, uh, you know, A New Hope all over again for each movie. He'll pick a part of a movie each way. This individual, for example, and I have the critics right here, the individual has 562,000 subscribers on his channel. 562,000 subscribers on his channel. And the guy can't even really critic a movie half decent. Instead of just talking to you through a camera like I'm doing right now and not editing anything and not going back and forth in different parts, I'm here to talk to you strictly about a movie, how I personally think and how I enjoy it or whatnot. The fact of the matter is, he always has a problem with a movie. He'll find a great movie. For example, the recent one that I've seen was Transformers 4. At the Age of Extinction. I went to theaters to see it. I'm a big Transformers fan. I love Transformers growing up and I went to see it. I figured it wasn't going to be that good of a movie because after all, you know, I do like Marky Mark, you know, Mark Wahlberg's performance in certain movies, but a lot of times I'm skeptical just like a lot of people was. But fuck that. I was blown away. I went to this theater and I sat down in my seat for two and a half hours. This movie could have been five and a half hours. I wouldn't care. I enjoyed this movie over and over and over again. And I will recommend this movie to anybody. Maybe if there's a couple of strict parents out there that are not really into seeing uh, their kids hearing the F word. Then you don't really want to bring them to this movie because there is a couple of scenes like that. But come on. When the hell do... Your kids do not hear that kind of language in the first place. It's not like, you know, the F word. Sorry, what are you, why am I even censoring the word fuck? Don't pum out of your mouth every once in a while. So it's not a big thing. Uh, Transformers was a great movie, but Jeremy Jaws, just like he, Jeremy Jaws fashion, picked apart every single bit of part of this movie and basically said this movie was not good at all, blah, blah, blah. In my opinion, this movie was the best Transformer movie out of all of them. It had more action. It had more unique individualism. I love this movie. It was without hands down it was a great movie and I recommend it for anybody who likes Transformers or anybody who like robots or anybody who like action movies so it's a really good movie yes it was directed by Michael Bay and Jeremy Jaws once again had to turn around and call it and I quote a none other than Michael Bay wet dream because there's a lot of explosions and a lot of slow motion things like that okay Jeremy Jaws you're a great character on YouTube I like to watch but I am not listening to any more of your reviews, okay? Your reviews to me is terrible. You don't actually give a good review. You just pick a part of a movie. And supposedly, Jeremy Jaw's favorite movie, he has a tattoo on his arm about it. I haven't even heard about this movie, okay? So it must be some kind of a singly, some kind of movie that hasn't been in the existence of actual big box office hits. So just to show you right there, there that Jeremy Jaws doesn't exactly know what he's talking about. Now, he will watch a movie and he will pick, 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 pick part of everything. And I wrote a message to Jeremy Jaws. The message that I wrote to him on YouTube was the fact that, dude, if you would just be more of a fan and not pick apart everything, you could enjoy a movie better. Instead of enjoying the movie as a critic, because the critic, in my opinion, being a critic like I am for movies, comes later. Being a fan of movies in general comes first. And he don't do that. He will look at a movie like he is actually a director. Or he's actually a Hollywood a person, a critic. He's not. He's a guy just like me on YouTube. Yes, he has more of people. But yes, he started it way before I ever did. So Jeremy Jaws, this is going to come to you. This is going to be me. I am the new critic on YouTube. If you have anything you guys want to say to me, just answer a question and I will answer. I will start my reviews on certain movies very soon. My name is Shane Howell. I'm signing off. Jeremy Jaws. It begins.